the ACC and longtime Virginia rivals. And of course, Juan Dixon had his share of battles at Old University Hall. And this is a uh, this has been a, a great homecoming tour for Juan Dixon here. He would like nothing better than to see his team come away. for Coppin State. Uh, the, the secret for them is going to be making their threes, and that's how the Virginia, that's how Virginia has lost their two games. They want to control the pace as well. You talked about it. They really like to play up tempo. And Virginia, they need to defend that three-point line, something that they haven't done in their two losses. Brian Dorsey, Mike Roberts, Nick Heater are the officials tonight. And the Cavalier Faithful ready to go here at JPJ for Coppin State and Virginia the opening tip to the home team and I will say about we talked about controlling pace and it is very hard to hurry up this Virginia ball club they're so deliberate on this end of the floor hey Clark on the bounce to Gardner and that opens the scoring uh, this, is a, this is a guy that had 18 points in each of their first two games but only four in Houston they they can't afford him to have many nights like that here come the Eagles already playing game number seven. First five on the road. Got their first win in their home opener against Loyola Maryland on Wednesday night. Here's a block by Shedrick, and the Cavaliers are running. Franklin. Now Kihei Clark resets the Cavaliers. They throw it into the post. Good ball movement finds Franklin. Now inside the Gardner. Clark with the fake and fire for two. It's, uh, you force him off the three-point line, but a nice 18-foot jump shot on the baseline for Clark. And you got to think that he's going to shoot better than his percentage early in the year. He's down around 30% right now, and that's going to go up. And he's going to be out there for a lot of minutes. And Bob, with the, with the offense they lost from last year, he's going to need to score more this year. An errant pass that went right through the legs of Zarzuela. Virginia trying to capitalize on the turnover as Franklin loads up. And the ball belongs to Virginia. Shot clock reset to 20. Jaden Gardner, 6'6", out of Wake Forest, North Carolina, transferred from ECU into Franklin. Shedrick controlled in the corner. Cavs with it. Beekman going up. And in. Nice move. Good, nice shot. And he kind of found his way through that back line defensively. Coppin State has played a ton of road games, as we mentioned. They get a shot out of the corner by Rojas. And that last win was the only game they've had at home. You know, Bob, it? That, that was a mental health win, too. At 0-5, <laughs> yes. they... They needed to see one in the left-hand column. Gardner's miss taken down by Zarzuela. And here comes Coppin State. Zarzuela's got some nice size on him for a point guard. Some good length on this team overall. And a steal in the paint by Gardner. Cavs on the push, and they get an easy jam on the break by Franklin. And an early timeout for Coppin State. Eight-nothing Cavaliers out of the gate. And this is the thing that has been hurting Virginia early on are turnovers. Like Houston, they had 12 turnovers in that first half for 14 points. And, but now they're the beneficiary on this side of it. Tony Bennett talks to his Cavaliers. A good start as Coppin State comes over from Baltimore. Take on this UVA outfit. Third meeting all time. In fact, Coach Dixon was a part of the last meeting back in 2018 that went Virginia's way 97 to 40 and the Cavs have won both meetings in history but this is a Coppin State team Mike that you know won their first regular season MEAC championship last year you know Juan Dixon brings a lot from his wealth of NBA experience to the coaching ranks relying on the three-pointer is a part of that he wants to play up tempo and you know when Ken Pomeroy who's a, kind of the stat guru of college basketball I mean they, he tracks pace of play and uh, last year this team right near the top in the country 
And uh, they play very free, easy. They'll launch threes anytime. And they, they are being challenged against this Virginia D right now. They're having a hard time getting a quality look. Clark on the bounce to Gardner. And a steal from Coppin. Should for bringing the ball down that time so the guards can get in the play. A lefty three by Titus. Clark has it. The shutout continues. And only one offensive guy on the glass for Coppin State on that play. They're just going to take shots and then live with the result. This is a team that's just gotten blasted on the boards. Coppin State's been out rebounded this year by 17 rebounds a game. Beekman. And the rebound to Tark. Coppin State trying to give the scoreboard some company on their side. 8-0 Virginia. They're just having to work against that Virginia defense in the half court. They're not getting anything easy. Titus. One of three lefties on this ball club. And it's out of bounds to Virginia. No, they say Coppin ball. Shot clock to 20, 16.08 to go in the opening hand. Juan Dixon wants to make a sub. He's out on the floor calling it. <laughs> to get somebody's attention. Now Cardesi comes in. He's a guy they need to get going offensively, too. Had a big game in their win, 19 points. Hit five threes in that game. And they could use a basket of any type right now. Four minutes in. Shot clock at three. Tark gets off a running hook and beats the buzzer for the first Coppin State field goal. And his first bat, their first basket was arguably their toughest shot during that whole sequence. I love this Virginia crowd base, though. They, they get on the opponent during the 30-second shot clock when it's running down. I love that. They feeds it inside. Chedrick lost the handle on the spin. And letting it fly. 4-3 is Cardesi. They are not bashful. They will flat jack it up. But Coppin State shooting only 27% from distance this season. Franklin jump stops and lost the handle. Last touched by the Eagles. That brings us to a timeout. 14.55 remaining in the opening half. Virginia on top 8-2. In America, the future belongs to everyone. The Italian original chicken is back at BK in the two for six. You've been asking for years, Pete Newbacher. And now we all get to enjoy the crispy chicken, melty mozzarella, and marinara sauce because of you. The Italian original chicken sandwich is back at BK in the two for six. Pete's way, way better. That's just tough. Open enrollment for the ACA Health Insurance Marketplace is here for all of Illinois. Whether you're in Collinsville or Chicago, the country or the city, no matter where you are in life, we've got you covered. If you want to enroll for the first time or update your health plan, GetCoveredIllinois.gov can help you navigate health care coverage with free enrollment assistance, quality coverage, and financial help so you can find the right plan for you. GetCoveredIllinois.gov. Your health coverage starts here. Of all the things that made Scrooge pout, he most disliked running and striding about. Until he discovered the Peloton tread. Sprinting and lifting sweat dripped from his head. His legs sang out like a Christmas choir. This grunt was hashtag on fire. Now Scrooge ran the holidays, no doubt, when your workout's a joy. It's a joy to work out. Well, look at this. New Zing Zang Ready to Drink Cocktails. The legendary taste of America's number one Bloody Mary mix. Crafted with seven vegetable juices, bold spices, Worcestershire, and vodka. The legendary Zing Zang Margarita. All natural key lime, grapefruit, 100% blue agave, tequila included. Introducing new Zing Zang Ready to Drink Cocktails. Legendary drinks, ready to enjoy anywhere. Are you ready? Sorry, now I am a 
The ride of your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. Back at JPJ, Bob Raff and Mike Jeminski with you and our crew, Virginia. On top, 8-2 to two over Coppin State. Just the start of things here tonight. And a very busy night in ACC basketball. Busy day with all these holiday tournaments kicking in. We'll review the scores as we go along tonight. As Virginia comes back out, they have hit four of their first nine. A couple of turnovers. Coppin is one for six, and they've turned it over three times. 13 on the Virginia shot clock. Franklin lobs it to mid floor and Beekman. Reese around to Franklin. Clark will drive and kick. Outside, Statman. He drills a three. He's a guy, too, that they need to get going offensively. He struggled a little bit. He uh, hasn't really had a lot of shots and not a lot of reps early on this year, Bob, but they can use his scoring from the perimeter. Rojas gives it up. This is Corbett. This is a guy that you spotted in your tape work, Mike, as a key to Coppin tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's coming off a big game, a double-double against uh, Loyola, Maryland. And an impressive double-double at that, 15-13. 15-13, yeah, and uh, you know what, too? It, just again, it, it's one shot and out for Coppin State so far. Virginia's won the boards 8-3 to three in the early going. And uh, Virginia's seen nothing but zone in the half court. Shot clock at two. Bigman, a contested shot. Ends up in the hands of Corbett. Yeah, and see, that's what really kind of throws your confidence off. You hit your first shot, and then that second one, it's a fourth shot at the end of the clock. Not a great look. Zars Whalen missing, and Coppin continues to struggle. One of eight overall. Franklin and missed the three. Rebound to Alex Rojas. Redshirt softball from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Yeah, neither one of these teams really has an uh, interior offensive guy they can throw it to, and that wide of the mark. Clark. Tried that pocket pass. Ripped away. Coppin State looking for something in transition, but the Cavs did a good job to get back. Yeah, they really stopped the ball, and uh, nobody really running with any conviction for Coppin State. And those are the easy points they have to find early. And that's where Houston was so effective on Tuesday against Virginia. Well, live ball turnovers. Coach Bennett was lamenting to us before the game when we talked to him. Yeah, no disrespect, but uh, we're yeah. talk, talking about Houston as a, a potential back-to-back -back Final Four team. Stadman. The rebound to Nenda Tark. Red shirt freshman brings it ahead. Eleven to two Cavaliers, and a steal. Great reach in by Franklin. Four on three, and the follow is good by Gardner. In Virginia, they, I mean they they will be opportunistic on turnovers, pushing the ball to the floor. They have been early on in this game. Charles Wayla could not. Find the distance with that shot. It remains 13 to 2. Uh, and, and the other thing, too, by, by taking these shots, I mean, Coppin State is not getting to the line at all and won't put any pressure on them to defend. Clark hits a three. He's got five. Clark just his fourth three pointer of the season and 14 attempts. 16 to 2. Another missed three, but Coppin does end up with the long rebound in the corner. This one off the glass and good by Tyree Corbin. 
A good solid move that time. And that's, you know, the driving lanes are there. I mean, with them taking that many threes, people are spread out. And uh, he's close, got the size to finish over the top of some people. And a steal. Turnover by Clark. Step back three for Zarzuela. Might have had a layup, but why not take a step back three? That's the M.O. of this team offensively. Half of their field goal attempts are threes. Clark directing traffic. Matched against the six foot three Zarzuela. Now inside. And we've got a foul call. On top of it, we have a timeout. 10 14. Remaining in our opening half, Cavaliers up by a dozen. Georgia Nat. They said it couldn't be done, but somehow Cross Country Mortgage was able to close this home in just 21 days. Carl, how'd you pull this off? We got a good organization here. Good luck with the next close. Cross Country Mortgage is dedicated to getting it done. detecting hazards in the dark with available night vision in the Cadillac XT6. During Walmart's Black Friday deals for days, there's all the best deals. Score Monday online or Friday in store. This season, head to Walmart's Black Friday deals for days. It's time for our Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina player comparison. And we want to focus in on the UVA point guard, Kihei Clark. A guy who, Mike, has been here through thick and thin. The last vestige of the national championship team. The senior for his last go-round. Invaluable, the experience he brings to Tony on the floor. He's one of those guys that it seems like he's been here for six or seven years. You know, And he was there through the 1-16. The and then right. go in the national champion. So he's seen the highest of the high and the lowest of lows in his career, but just very steady. And if there's one position that most coaches want to have, it's that veteran point guard. Clark coming into this one, averaging 35 minutes a game. Nine points and three assists. Gets a breather here. His assist turnover ratio through the first three games is even at 9-9. That needs to improve. Yeah, and you know what? And we talked about the uh, the guys that aren't here, Hauser, Huff, Murphy, but, you know, 50 points scoring. And there was a continuity playing with them, but this is just learning new teammates. Beautiful stroke by Neely. Igor nailing that three, and that was a beautiful shot. What a stroke. Well, we, we heard from the Virginia people that he may see a little bit more court time. Uh, Milicic is a guy from Croatia. And Tony alluded to that in our pregame talk. A nice lefty move by Titans. You know, every single basket that Coppin State has made has been a nice drive inside. I mean, you know, start stick with that for a while and then build your three-point shooting out. Six foot ten, Milicic going to work. Two-pointer this time and drills another. I think he's winning some more playing time here or the early offense. He looks he looks very smooth out there. You put the ball in a hole like this, yeah. you're gonna get playing time. Yeah, for yeah, and for, and for a team. And you know, when they won their national championship, they could really score the ball as well as defend. Good hands by Beekman defensively. Now keep your eye on this man as the season unfolds. 
And he really got here late, too. Really couldn't take part in uh, a lot of what they did this summer. Under nine minutes to go in the first half. Cavaliers. One Dexter with the miss. Start like this enables Tony to get some guys some minutes and haven't played a lot so far this season. Well, and two with, with Clark out there, the, the, the offense isn't run as crisply as it would be with him. Titus gets to that left hand. But first, a travel. Clark checks back in. So far, a nice defense that time moving his feet. Twenty-one six Virginia, eight twenty first half. Here's Stappen, and it drops. Tony's got five, and eight points in the Houston game on Tuesday. Three boards in twenty minutes. And they challenged him. Yeah, and they challenged him that time, Bob. They came off him to double the ball and let him have a good run to the rim. Cavalier foul on Francisco Francisco Caparo commits the Cavaliers' first foul of the night. 23 6 and a timeout. Turn hard working days into happy nights. Our battery AK Homeowner Series starts at just one night. You're not just another policyholder to us. We remember your name. Hi, Cheryl. He remembered my name. Because it's your name. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. Everything you've seen me do was made possible by what you don't see. Because when you're not looking, I go to work. Strength is in a given. It's grown. It's earned and tested. We all have the strength to see what's possible. It's up to us to unlock it. Tonal, be your strongest. hazards in the dark with available night vision in the Cadillac XT6. steals three-pointers he was one of the ACC's all-time greats and he grew too by he wasn't a star when he got to Maryland but he grew into that role and I tell you that at that point in time in ACC history Duke and Maryland was the mm -hmm. matchup I mean it, Duke winning it in 2001 these guys 2002 and their head-to-heads in conference were epic battles Gary Williams yeah. coaching the Maryland Terrapins and having that guy by his side for four years was pretty special. Now, cutting his teeth as a head coach. And he's, uh, he's looking at his team, he goes, I wish this is how Gary let us play. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but you won a national championship, so something had to be going right. Titus. And he drains this one. Yeah, he's come in and uh, he's had a nice stroke early on. Again, he's a guy who got his offense with that drive not too long ago. 
Young man, first year at the D1 level after playing in junior college. A turnover here for the Cavaliers. Titus matched against the big. Gardasi. And this is about as big a front line as Tony Bennett can throw out there. Mm -hmm. Time to experiment a little bit, see if these guys can play together. That is with a tough shot, but a great follow that time by Corbett. Yeah, he's a guy we talked about the double-double 15 and 13 that he's coming off of. Got to get a body on him. Did a nice job of getting that ball up softly. 23-11 as Clark penetrates and scores. Nice move. Yeah, with seven. Kind of used Kafaro as a uh, as a screen inside coming up on the other side of the basket. No real rim protectors out there for Coppin State. And a block and a foul on Statman. Here's Here's it, but, and you know there's that ball is actually kept alive so it was the second guy in that guy and that's really one of the few offensive rebounding opportunities that they have had in this first half this one pops out Zarzuela has started every game but one that was the DePaul game and that game he came off the bench and scored 25 they, go, they, they went out to Chicago, played a couple good. They, this team has been everywhere and continue. And we'll do that right up until the first of the year and then they can get into conference play. Coppin jamming in these games, these uh, guarantee games that you see so many of these MEAC teams, et cetera, SWAC teams have yeah. to play. And leaping leader is good by Bigman. He's got four. Well, then the trick is, I mean, you, you like the competition you're playing against, and it improves your team, but you have to keep their head above water going into conference play. They don't get beat up mentally. Coppin State is in the midst of playing nine games in 16 days before Thanksgiving. Shedrick, nice defensive play that time. 27-12, Virginia. Beautiful save in the corner by Bateman. Milicic. Not been shy coming in looking for his offense. Titus. Drew the whistle. And the foul on Chedrick. And he's more of a traditional center than Jay Huff was, and uh, although a big presence inside, doesn't have the three-point shooting, but he can block shots. Good timing. But for Titus, you got to understand, he's going to get to his left hand and have to play that and force him to his offhand. Coppin struggling at the line. They have missed two out of their three attempts so far. This redshirt sophomore from Sydney, Australia, puts in the second free throw for his sixth point. And it's 27 to 13. Clark looking. Pass off the dribble. Now back out to Beekman. And a double dribble is called. Yeah, I think Juan Dixon had that call <laughs> before Brian Dorsey did, and uh, they consulted, and he got it right. But you can see uh, the defensively at that time, and then Coppin State trying to keep Virginia pinned on one side of the floor, kept them on the right side, get that turnover. Juan well, looks still, still pretty good playing, Chief. Yeah, he took a shot right before the game began. When the teams came out for the anthem, and I thought he was going to make it. He still got a good looking stroke. Another foul on the drive. So at least Coppin State now, they're, I mean, they're putting pressure on Virginia to defend. I mean, early in this game, launching threes, you know, and they're missing. But now they've been putting the ball on the floor, and it's been effective. Tyree 
And now a quick message from Works Nitro. Meet Works Nitro, powerful tools for any project with gas-like power without the gas. Fueled by PowerShare batteries to give you the power to outperform. Amon Franklin committing the personal foul for Virginia. 27-14. But despite the initial woes offensively, Coppola not out of this by a long shot. And a foul will send Gardner to the line. State foul, well, and the thing that's scary about a team like this is that they if they can get hot, they can make threes, so they can make a deficit go away in a hurry. Two shots. Mike, a lot of ACC fans as the season begins getting their first look at a lot of these guys, and Gardner's certainly one of those, as he will play a prominent role for UVA. Good size at 6'6", just under 250 as a senior. What do you look for from this young man for this season? Well, I say, uh, you know, I said to the Open that he's got that body type. He's, he's uh, you know, not a little undersized height-wise, but very strong. He's got a good low box game. Two-time All AAC player, so uh, you know he can score 18 points a game there. And uh, I tell you what, Titus has come in and he has lifted this team offensively. Titus hitting his second three. He's got nine. 28-17. Beekman gives. Clark thought about it, now drives. Got bumped. And a foul. This will send Shedrick to the line. See, the thing about Clark, 5'10", he has a tough time if you keep your feet trying to get an offense and trying to get a shot up in the lane area. An official's timeout with 3.55 to go in the half, and the Cavaliers up 11. home for the holidays for the first time since you know but I actually feel fine because if I find myself in any uncomfortable situation hi Zachy I'll hide <coughs> and my native deodorant will keep me smelling great the whole time are you on any of these uh, dating apps dear this is my emotional support deodorant It's the holiday season and joy filled the town, except for Scrooge, with his perma frown. <laughs> the gift of a Peloton bike did touch his soul. Riding fast, flowing proud, getting hella swole. You can do it. I'm doing it. Was Scrooge a new man? Yes. Oh, without doubt. When your workout's a joy, it's a joy to work out. Wake up, trader. It's time to bring your portfolio to life at Tastyworks. Don't you want to up your trading game? What about a broker that lets you trade stocks, options, futures, and crypto on one platform? Get everything you want and $500 when you open and fund a new Tastyworks account. Are you ready to trade your way? Tastyworks, you deserve a better broker. Daniel Titus is making his presence felt, Mike Dominski. He came in averaging 2.2 points a game, had not scored more than four in a game this season. He's got nine in the first half. Yeah, he had 13 points total in their first six games, and uh, Ori has almost matched that here early on, and he's the guy who's come in and sparked them offensively, by the way, and this team didn't score in the first five minutes of the game. He played the last two seasons at Neosho County Community College out in Kansas. Averaged 11 points and seven boards a game last season. But he's been playing, you know, fairly regular minutes. Three starts. But tonight, yeah, really starting to put the ball in the basket. And that's good news for Juan Dixon and company. 
and he takes him out. <laughs> he, well, he does have two fouls. Yeah, and Titus is like, I, don't, I can play. I can play with that. <laughs> Caden Shedrick. Redshirt sophomore out of Holly Springs, North Carolina. Went 10 for 10 at the line against Radford earlier this season. Knocks these two down. Like I got to say, he's, he is not the three-point threat that Jay Huff was, but uh, you know, can work inside, like you said, get to the free throw line, give them a little bit of an option inside. He goes out in favor of Cody Statman. 37-team Virginia. Step back three for Zarzuela, and he nails it. Ooh, and that's and he had Statman all over him too. Statman the size to stay in front of him. That was a tough shot. Coppin State settling in offensively. Rosario Weyler, his ninth three-pointer this season. That leads the team. Gardner back to Clark. Gardner faces. And his pass across is picked off. And you know, it's funny with a team like this that when their offense starts clicking, their defensive intensity picks up at the other end. There's Wayla. Offensive rebound for Coppin. This one secured by Reggie James. The three ball no good by Cardesi. I don't know if there is a bad shot this team offensively. The that, philosophy seems to be, Mike, shoot till you get hot. And then shoot to stay hot. <laughs> <laughs> and another steal for Coppin. It's been live ball turnovers, too, for Virginia. And you and I are talking with Tony Bennett. Those are the things, the pick sixes, as it were. Tark will drive. Puts up a tough runner. Rebound to Gardner. You see another lefty. You make him go right, and it's a tough finish for him. He has to go right into the hand of the defender. Alex Rojas going to the table for Coppin. Two-minute mark of the half is Freeman, a big man rather, puts up a short one on the baseline. This is a single-digit game if they score here. That's what I was going to say. I mean, they're really a nice recovery from that early. Virginia touched it on the way out. 17 to shoot. Rojas comes in to get Kyle Cardesi. 30 to 20, Virginia. It was at one point 16 to 4. With around uh, 10 minutes to go. A little more than 10 to play in the hand. Now we're down to minute 35. And Coppin again shooting to get it into single digits. From the logo, Zarzuela. And the rebound to Coppin. And that's the thing. They've started to get second chance opportunities. Even on those long rebounds, Virginia, and they get the turnover there. And the over and back violation. Charge to Coppin. That's what you and I were talking about, how rebounding has changed, mm -hmm. the way the game has changed. And with the three-point shooting, especially this team, there be a ton of long rebounds that the perimeter has to hang in there for. Your wings and your guards have got to rebound yep. in today's game. Mm -hmm. Not like the old days. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you were down there banging and Walk through the snow for 10 miles <laughs> to play a game. <laughs> no shot. Foul well, coming a grab of the jersey, I believe. Charge to Cardesi. Richard Sopor charged with his first foul. Out of bounds underneath for Clark. Entry to Franklin. Nice pass inside, but a foul on Reggie James. That'll be his first. And free throws coming for Milicic. And that's, you know, Milicic, he's shown the ability to do two things. He can pip, pick and pop. He's got that nice, soft jump shot from the outside that time. Got to the free throw line with a roll to the basket. And he's pretty solidly built, too. And gets the shooter's roll. Mm, he's got a nice stroke. 
Six points. Well, 6'10 freshman. 112 to go here in the first half. We'll get you up to date with the scores, the schedule, lots of big games with these holiday tournaments kicking in this week and next. Second shot good. 32-20, Virginia. Venezuela lost it off his leg out of bounds. Yeah, I, I tell you what, it is as they, as they settle in that um, Clark and Beekman, that's a terrific defensive backcourt mm -hmm. today, especially on the ball point of attack. UVA is going to take a timeout. Second timeout, UVA. 56.5. Remaining in this first half. You got a chance to see him just ever so briefly before the game, Isaiah Wilkins. Now starting his work as a graduate assistant coach under Tony Bennett. After playing here, his dad, Dominique Wilkins, the Hall of Famer, and Isaiah back at the UVA program. And... Uh, didn't have a chance to see it, but for a second yep. with you, Mike, before the game. But, I, you know, maybe Coach is going to be in his blood before it's all said and done here. Yeah, and, uh, and of course, you uh, sitting next to his dad for uh, 82 nights a year with the Hawks. And uh, uh, but Nick was a, he was a special player. It was a, it was a thrill to play against him. You know, those years that he had in the NBA. And, Did you get to see the bottom of the sneakers? Oh, time yeah, time? A, I'm, on, I'm on a couple of posters <laughs> on the wall. I don't I don't care if I was getting dunked on. You know, I'm on somebody's wall. 32-20 Virginia. Well, that's Georgia, Georgia Tech tonight, big in-state right. battle. They tip off in about an hour and 15 minutes over at Stegman this year. And for the great history, talk about all these pandemic stories from last season. The unbelievable century-old history between Georgia and Georgia Tech. Last year, the first year they did not play. And the year that Georgia Tech won the ACC tournament. How about that? First. And Virginia did not have the opportunity. Yep. Knocked out of the ACC tournament due to COVID. Here is the corner three that's no good by Franklin. UVA gets a second chance and a block. Loose ball, Coppin with a terrific defensive play by Tark comes away with the basketball. Well, they've had some good active hands on some of the possessions. 32-20 Virginia. About a four-second four second difference between shot and game clock. Tark looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. And had nothing. Cavaliers make it pay. Time for Franklin. He'll take it all the way. Count the basket and a foul on Coppin. Thirty-four twenty, Virginia with a free throw to come. I well, just watched his nice steal down the other. Good block down the other end, and uh, actually pretty nice. Pursuit by Coppin State, but a terrific finish by Franklin. There's the look at it. And that was Militish who got the block as well on the other end. Three-point play for Franklin gives him five. 1.6. Hood passes it ahead. The shot comes long after the buzzer. And it is halftime for Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers. At the break, Juan Dixon's team staggered early. They were down 16 to four, couldn't put the ball in the hole, then got going and made it a game here in the end of the first half. We're at the break. In Charlottesville, halftime score, UVA 35 and Coppin State 20. Back with halftime right after this. Toyotathon is on. Now's the time to get a great deal on Tacoma. It was the holiday season and joy filled the town, except for Scrooge with his perma frown. <laughs> ah! The gift of a Peloton bike did touch his soul. Riding fast, flowing proud, getting hella swole. You can do it. I'm doing it. Was Scrooge a new man? 
Oh, without doubt. When your workout's a joy, it's a joy to work out. Wake up, trader. It's time to bring your portfolio to life at Tastyworks. Don't you want to up your trading game? What about a broker that lets you trade stocks, options, futures, and crypto on one platform? Get everything you want and $500 when you open and fund a new Tastyworks account. Are you ready to trade your way? Tastyworks, you deserve a better broker. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. I'm coming home, baby. The ride of your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. hazards in the dark with available night vision in the Cadillac XT6 Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report presented by your local Toyota dealers. Halftime here in Charlottesville with Virginia leading by 15. It looked like this might be a monumental blowout the way things started. Coppin State only scored four points in the first 10 minutes. But Juan Dixon's team sort of got their wits about them, hit a couple of threes, and stayed in it here. And Virginia with a finishing kick to lead by 15. Bob Rath and Mike Jeminski. We want to refresh everybody's memory. The all-knowing media, the ACC, <laughs> made their preseason prognostications. And, of course, the top of the race is going to be uh, a most exciting one with Duke and North Carolina, the two ranked teams as we speak, Florida State, Virginia. We know, Mike, there's going to be a lot of shuffling before all is said and done. Well, and, you know, you look at it, you get, you got to think Florida State's going to be there at the end of the year. Uh, Louisville's got that six-game suspension with Chris Mack that they've got to deal with early on. Mike Younger, for Virginia Tech, a nice job, you know, and uh, Jim Beheim's now got his two sons playing for him. <laughs> up at Syracuse, so it's going to be interesting to see how this all sorts itself out. A lot of new faces, Hubert Davis, first year in North Carolina, exactly. big seat to fill. I love the headline in the Syracuse paper when they won their first game, Bayheim, Bayheim, and Bayheim lead Syracuse to victory. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a law firm up there in Syracuse, isn't it? <laughs> Some of the quick hits around the league, seven remain unbeaten, although Clemson did go down today. Four members of last season's All-ACC team returned. It's going to be interesting, a nice mix of some of the old heads and some of the new guys coming on the scene. Yeah, and that thing, you know, with the with the transfer portal as it is, Bob, it, it's, it takes teams a while to figure out who they are. And there have been, around the country, a lot of lower to mid-major teams that have had some big wins because of that early on. No question. And we've got ACC action here tonight in JPJ with Virginia on top of Coppin State. Doing it with defense. Oh, you've heard that before here at UVA. Halftime score, 35-20 Cavs. Back with more in a moment. This is your secret to an easy Thanksgiving. Fully cooked, heat, and served meals from the fresh market. Let the Thanksgiving feast begin with... What does this win mean? Been with the family for a long time. With our team chemistry, it was bound to happen. Just close, baby! <laughs> Such a big win from Cross Country Mortgage. Dedicated to getting it done. Get help detecting hazards in the dark. With available night vision in the Cadillac XT6. Black Friday sales event is going on all month long at Bettenhausen Ram on 159th Street in Tinley Park. Power on with the strength of a Bettenhausen Ram truck. Your best Ram truck buying experience starts now at BettenhausenCBGR.com.
The ride of your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. Are you ready? Make your family proud. Let's go! Disney's Encanto has critics raving. Salud. It's a mystery full of hidden secrets. That keeps surprising you. The magic is strong. Disney's Encanto is enchanting. From the studio that brought you Frozen Whoa! comes a movie experience you can only see in theaters. What's your gift? I say my real gift was acting. <laughs> Disney's Encanto, ready PG, only in theaters. Tickets available now. ACC basketball is brought to you by Toyota. Visit your local Toyota dealers today. By CPI Security. CPI Home Security that protects what matters most. And by the Works Nitro, available at worksnitro.com. Just to remind everybody, of course, Virginia, the calling card under Tony Bennett. They've had the top scoring defense in the country six times in the last eight seasons. And they allowed just 20 to Coppin State in the first half tonight. Lots of blocks, lots of steals in that first half, Mike. And you've got five steals, three blocks for uh, Virginia up front. Good sliding of the feet that time. Millage is a nice play there, but. Uh, you know, this team, and, and that's the thing, it takes a while to gel, for them to gel defensively, not, you know, not just offensively. And uh, how about Titus, though? He really came in and gave this team a big lift. 13 points on the year in the first six games. He's got nine points in this half, Bob. And really the only Eagle that had any consistency in his scoring in that first half. You see, they launched 17 threes out of 27 shots. Game of it will be good for their confidence. Let's see if they can uh, be a little more successful driving the basketball at least early. Cop it basketball as we get underway with the final 20 minutes. Titus has it's the hot hand of that first half. And a whistle starts the defensive effort for Virginia here in the second half. And this foul on Shedrick. Get two shots. Nice aggressive move to the basket in that left hand. And that's a that's a matchup I think that uh, Coppin State can take advantage of with Shedrick on him, especially out on the perimeter. It's the free throw to drop. He's two of three at the line tonight. And this gives him ten points. Juan Dixon's club within 14 and make it 13. I thought that. You know, Virginia, we talked about turnovers. They had eight in that first half, Bob, and I thought they got a little sloppy when they, after they had that big lead, let their guard down a little bit. Weren't as sharp. Gardner out of the double team. Clark to the wing and Franklin. Off the high glass and good. And that was a nice reversal of the basketball with that low double team. And uh, Gardner's a guy you're going to have to pay attention to in a low block, especially if he's got a guy his size. And we've got a foul coming. Titus. The illegal screen. That's going to be the third on Daniel. Well, that's a, you know, as a player, you got it going finally. You, you get your offense going and you pick up an offensive foul for your third. Mark saves it on the wing. Chedrick drills the mid-ranger. Not the three-point threat, but uh, shows some pretty nice form there on the free-throw line jump shot. Well, you made such a great point earlier, Mike, about how... You know, this Virginia team can't look backward anymore. This is a new club that has to be put together, and guys are going to find their roles and, and play to their strengths. Yeah, and it's um, it just seems like, you know, for Tony's, it's every year, of course, you know, when they had that great continuity with their national championship team. But uh, like I said, I said it, I have no doubt this team will be 
much better later on in the year, second half of ACC play especially. And there is Titus with the push. And out he goes with four personal fouls. Cedar Conte is coming in for Coppin State. I believe for the first time tonight, here's Clark, a little bit of daylight, pushes it up and off, gets his own mix. Gardner, with that hand up, he wanted it in the low post, has to come to the elbow to get it this time. Out of the wing and Franklin. And I don't know, you know, right now that Shedrick is a guy you need to double team or, or hedge in on in the post. And I, I know he's seven feet, but still a little raw offensively. 18 on the shot clock for Coppin State. They shot 26% from the floor in the first half. 34% on the campaign. And yet another road game. They're sixth and seventh. Conte feeding it back up front. Corbett. Cam's rebound with Shedrick. Hayden in that Radford game we talked about when he hit all the free throws. He also had a career high 10 rebounds in that game. 18 to shoot. You know, he's, a, he's a guy I think that will get points manufactured for him off of the offense rather than just dumping him in and letting him create on his own. Harder to the corner. The three ball no good. Follow the dunk and a foul. There's Caden getting big, doing some damage. Against three Eagles inside on the glass, but he had great position. He was inside of all of them, watching that left side of your screen. Ball comes off, and he just goes up, rises up, and finishes. Good anticipation, you know, he shoot a shot from that side. More than likely, he's going to miss on the opposite side. A foul on Corbett, his second. And Cedric down with seven. 42-22. Cavs take it to 20. If he can get to the point where they're getting like 10 points, six rebounds out of him, and maybe a block or so, that'd be good production. Four on the shot clock. To the corner and Conte. And he beats the buzzer with that three. That was a really nice find by Corbett, too. Twenty-two, twenty-five, and a loose ball. This one's going to roll out in a foul. Going to be coming on Coppin. Daisy's second. And he's a guy who has yet to find his offense. Wow, 0 of 3. All missed all three of his three-point attempts. And he was so hot on Wednesday night against Loyola at home, and he scored 19. And he is the three-point shooting specialist. He's only taken four two-pointers <laughs> on the entire year. Gardner. Had a double-double in the Navy opener, 18 and 10. But Conte just, uh, it's just not enough there physically. And that's why I talked about size for size. He's going to overpower a lot of people in the low block. And a push on Franklin. That would be his second foul. Brings us to a timeout. 1554 the second half Cavs by 19. This is gonna be awesome. Some things can't be tried at home. Where next? With Capital One, the possibilities are unlimited. 
Introducing Venture X, our new class of travel card. Earn 10x miles on hotels and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel, plus receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Find your where next with Venture X. What's in your wallet? detecting hazards in the dark with available night vision in the Cadillac XT6. You ready? Make your family proud. Let's go! Disney's Encanto has critics raving. Salud. It's a mystery full of hidden secrets yes. that keep surprising you. The magic is strong! Disney's Encanto is enchanting. From the studio that brought you Frozen Whoa! comes a movie experience you can only see in theaters. What's your gift? I say my real gift was acting. <laughs> Disney's Encanto, Ready PG, only in theaters. Tickets available now. Build of North Carolina, we resolve to continue stepping up for you and your family. And by Continental Tire. For every surface and every season, Continental Tire has a tire for you. Virginia 44, Cap and State 25. Bob Rathbun, Mike Jeminski from JPJ tonight. Mike, one of your big keys for Coppin was to control the tempo. They, you knew they had to hit threes, and the tempo sort of got away from them in the early minutes. They've been playing catch up ever since. And, and they've been having to operate in the half court, um, you know, really. And it, the turnovers that Virginia has made that uh, Coppin State has not converted off them in, in the open floor. Entry pass. In the middle of that Virginia defense. Here's Corbett going inside. And the foul for the reach on Beekman. First foul for Reese Beekman. 6 2 sophomore. Three throws coming up for Conte. That's what Coppin State has to do is uh, slow the game down a little bit here. And if they're going to be in the half court, get to the free throw line, stop the clock. As I talked with, you know, I, I told talked earlier, Bob, that very difficult for an up tempo team to really hurry up this Virginia ball club, mm -hmm. and especially in this building. Many have tried. Few has succeeded. <laughs> a little from the uh, Baltimore. He's got that little Kevin Durant shimmy on his free throw. And the Cavs turn it over here. Transition opportunity, and Tark gets the easy lay-in. Second field goal for Nanda Tark. 44-28. So Coppin State. Hanging around here. Yeah, and those are, again, those those points are like gold. They just that the turnovers out front. You don't have to work against that defense. Good high low action, but unable to secure the pass was Gardner. And Coppin State will get it back. You mentioned Baltimore. And for Cavalier fans, that sends them trembling at the thought of those four little letters UMBC. <laughs> Yeah, but then there's the, the, the miracle of Lando where you can go back to 76 and Wally Walker. There you go. Deep in the history book. Banked in three for Conte. This is the thing. About the same time in the first half, Virginia built that big lead and they kind of fell asleep a little bit. A little sense right here, a little slippage as well. Gardner. And the rebound controlled by Coppin and Tark. Just five guys basically outside the three-point line right now for Coppin State. Zarzuela. 
trying to wish that one into the basket. Almost look like you're trying for another bank three. <laughs> the biggest Virginia lead has been 20 accomplished here in the second half. Point Dexter jumps it back to Clark. Six minutes of a lap in the second half as Clark puts in the run. First points of the second half for the veteran. He's got nine total. And that's, and that's the thing, especially early on this year, what he'll have to do if, he's, if he feels like this team is struggling, they need a basket like that to get a little momentum. He is on fire. This redshirt senior from the Bronx, Cite Conte, he has got 10 playing the role of Daniel Titus here in the second half. <laughs> they had to find that guy. Titus picked up that fourth foul, has been out of the game. Conte, though. Come in, three of 10 from behind the arc. We have a timeout taken by Virginia. And the Cavs on top. Well, if it isn't Big Hardy, you fix him a sauce. In Garage Delivery has arrived. Get $30 off your first key delivery at Amazon.com slash key. Two out of three guys experience hair loss by age 35. Kinda scary. That's why I use Keeps. Keeps offers clinically proven treatments. And the sooner you start, the more hair you can keep. Get started for $1 a day at Keeps.com. Hey, let's listen to the Buckeyes game. No, I'm driving, I decide. I would also like to hear the Buckeyes game. Sorry, two Heismans, two votes. I'd like to taste a real Italian coffee, please. What is the real Italian coffee? Cappuccino. You mean black coffee? In a capsule? Yes, Lavazza Classico. Enjoy an authentic taste of Italy with every sip. Lavazza. I'd like to taste a real Italian coffee, please. She said real Italian coffee? What is the real Italian coffee? Espresso. Espresso or Americano? You mean black coffee? She wants a real Italian coffee! In a capsule? Cappuccino. Oh, nice. Ah, the real Italian coffee. Yes, Lavazza, espresso, and more. Discover the Italian coffee experience in all its forms. Lavazza, more than Italian. Exactly. You ready? Make your family proud. Let's go! Disney's Encanto has critics raving. Salud. It's a mystery full of hidden secrets. That keeps surprising you. The magic is strong. Disney's Encanto is enchanting. From the studio that brought you Frozen Whoa! comes a movie experience you can only see in theaters. What's your gift? I say my real gift was acting. <laughs> Disney's Encanto, ready PG, only in theaters. Tickets available now. Great corollary between him and Tony Dungy. Right? Just guys who are very spiritual. Uh, the way they conduct their lives, the way they conduct themselves as people and as coaches. Just impeccable. That's the that's the word that comes to mind. 46-34 Virginia. 13 and a half to play. Crowd a bit pensive, and we've got Franklin going down at the top. We'll see what happened to him. He gets to his feet. Moves the ball across the court. Clark will get in the paint. And the corner three in and out for Coleman, yeah, or rather for Rapon Dexter. They played four on five that time, and uh, right now Franklin's still hobbling around defensively. The corner to three is missed. And Armand Franklin jogging past us at the broadcast table. They're going to get Beekman in for him. Tony just called a timeout, so didn't want to take another. Nor did they foul. Ten on the shot clock. Clark and a foul coming on Coppin. And this will be on Conte. Conte with his first. 
Well point game and we'll keep an eye on Franklin as he goes to the end of the bench. Seems to be walking without a limp as Clark misses. Clark the rebound. Nice little crossover, but he still had to deal with Shedrick. And that was a tough cover. I mean, Shedrick had him from the perimeter on in. You know, it's not like he was waiting at the rim for the driver. Twenty-three seconds for Coppin, and they get it inside to Tark, and he lays it in. And Tark is another guy, a good matchup for him playing against Clark. And uh, that's the one thing you, Tony, you don't want to see one pass from an underneath out of bounds for a layup. Backdoor cutting Clark. Twelve minutes to go. Catch and shoot for Statman, and he drills it. Yeah, this could be a game for Statman, a good confidence builder, you know, for him to get some confidence in that stroke. He's going to be a guy who's going to live on the three-point line. Knocked around going through the lane. Conte draws the contact and foul. On Virginia brings us to a timeout. 11.48 to play in the second half. At Finger Hut, we don't define you by your credit score. We celebrate... I came across this house with water dripping from the ceiling. You never know when something like this will happen. So let the Geico Insurance Agency help you with homeowners insurance. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say somewhere upstairs, there's a broken pipe. Bundle and save even more at Geico.com. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because the car was too expensive. We both work at Chick-fil-A. She would bike to work every day. And then winter hit, and that was pretty rough. So there was a holiday raffle, and they were giving away a car there. Her name got called, and I was like... <laughs> she decided to give the card to me. Chick-fil-A feels like one big family. Helping you or just like any of my coworkers always brings joy. It's crazy to say like I gave my best friend a car. Cover it up. That's what I did when I started losing my hair. But then I realized I could actually do something. Now I use Keeps, the easiest way to keep my hair. And it only costs a dollar a day, which means no more covering up. Get started at Keeps.com. The ride of your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. It's time for Mike Jeminski and the Continental Tire Game Recap. Uh, defense, defense playing a big part for uh, Virginia here. Some blocks, some steals, getting out of the open floor. And then some nice offensive board work by their centers inside. And Clark has been a nice steadying force offensively for this ball club. But then some turnovers. Virginia's got 10 in the game so far, Bob. And uh, Coppin stayed a little opportunistic scoring there. It has long been a strength of the Cavaliers to take care of the basketball. You kick out last year's season that was so truncated with COVID. The Cavaliers have been ranked in the top 20 in turnover percentage six straight seasons. So to see this team struggle with turnovers early is certainly atypical. So you know what? I think it's like if, if Kia Clark were a quarterback and he got a whole new receiving core. Mm -hmm. And offensive line. And, and offensive line that he had to pass and work with. It's going to take time to build up that timing. A nice fingertip lay-in by Tark. He's got eight. Starting to come to life a bit in the second half. And Coppin back within 11. Drive by Beekman and the follow. Gardner just moving his guy a little bit underneath the rim. Left himself really nice position for the follow. Nine points for Gardner. 51-38. And the reach by Statman. And they're doing, Coppin State's doing a little better job. They're seeing their mismatches out front. They got a bigger guy on them. It's that time Statman caught on, the, on that switch. And, uh, 
it looks like this neither team got even close to the penalty uh, bonus in that first half with both teams sitting with five team fouls right now. Milicic coming in for Clark. Did a really very nice job for them in the first half. And this is a lineup with Beekman at the point guard. It's another, this is when they have a big front line. Zarzuela. Will be shooting free throws on the Stampin' foul. That's his third. And that's what, you know, Tony Bennett doing here. He's taking a look at different combinations out on the floor, different sizes. You know, see you guys, you see who's working well together. It's that threat of the three ball for Coppin State. If they could get hot, things could get a little uncomfortable here. And another foul. This is going to put Virginia in the penalty and cop it in the bonus. This is the thing, too. I mean, I think Virginia just really locked in on defending the three, and they want to force the drive, get people off that three-point line, but try to do it without fouling. Front end of the one-and-one one missed. Gardner claims the rebound. Yeah, I think they'll, they'll look at, like, Milicic and Statman, who they're guarding, and try to beat them off the dribble. Post up for Gardner. Nope, Milicic will drive it, lost it, tapped out, top and ball. Zarzuela brings it ahead. Vertex plays it back, and a look for Conte. Ooh, halfway in the pipe and out. That was a good look, too. Nice swing of the basketball. He stepped right into that in rhythm. Reese Bigman. And the whistle goes against Kyle Cardasi. Number three and the New Jersey sophomore. And it looks like a timeout has been called here. Team called timeout with 10.02 to play in the second half. 51-38, Virginia. We will be back with more from Charlottesville, Virginia after this. Well, if it isn't Big Hardy. There is no one that can measure up to the homeowner like Cross Country Mortgage can. Fixer uppers, covered. No down payments, covered. Loans that you don't even know can be covered, covered. Cross Country Mortgage is dedicated to getting it done. detecting hazards in the dark with available night vision in the Cadillac XT6. Like many people with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, I was there. Be right back. But my symptoms were keeping me from where I needed to be. So I talked to my doctor and learned Humira is the number one prescribed biologic for people with UC or Crohn's disease. And Humira helps people achieve remission that can last. So you can experience few or no symptoms. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, remission is possible. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Humira. From the studio that brought you Moana. I have an amazing, magical family. And Frozen. What's going on? The house is in danger! This Thanksgiving... Disney invites you on an adventure. I need to find the secret. You can only see in theaters. 
Disney's Encanto. Ray PJ, only in theaters, November 24th. Really done some nice work on the offensive glass. And he's the one guy Virginia can send to the glass. Gets four back. And a foul here gives Coppin some more free throws. Time for tonight's CPI security protecting the paint. I'll say, check this block. It is. That is just really well timed. You see, he's very long limbed, rangy. He's a guy who practiced against Jay Huff last year. Good experience there. Another front end missed by Zarzuela. 53 38 it remains. And 6 of 12 on the game from the free throw line. So Cotton State leaving some points at the free throw line. Nice quick spin move, and Gardner heads to the strike. Conte's second personal. Gardner's going to go to the line, and it looks like the line's going to be vacated here by Cavaliers. It appears so. Gardner will shoot. As a shooter, I liked a little bit of a crowd there at the free throw line. That's the thing that separates when you shoot, when you shoot a technical, you know, and it's it, you really have to have concentration. Gardner rattling at home right there, 82 percent on the year. I mean, what a friend's fool. Yeah, exactly. He feels lonely. Splits the pair. 54-38. Tipped and stolen. Two on one the other way. Bigman to Gardner. Reach in on Zarzuela. Stop that potential fast break basket. And that was Beekman. That is just defensively, always with the active hands, got the deflection and really started that. There's the tip right there. Pretty good two man game. Point number 11 for Jaden Gardner. Leads the Cavaliers with seven offensive rebounds. Double double tonight, 11 and 10. Cavalier leader in rebounds for the season. This one's short. 55 38, Cavs by 17. Out of the double team, out of bounds. Mike Hood, who's had just a few minutes of playing time tonight, with that turnover in the corner. Well, 808 remaining. Well traveled, his fourth school in four years. Short was Franklin. And another foul on Coppin. Brings us to a timeout. 7.50 the time remaining in our second half. It's Virginia 55 and Coppin State 38 from JBJ in Charlottesville. Our journey at Continental has taken us down many roads. And when we first started, they weren't even paved. For more than 150 years, we've worked hard to earn your trust. From the trail to the race. You deserve it all with Tastyworks. Trade options, stocks, futures, and crypto in one powerful platform. Get $500 when you open and fund a new Tastyworks account. Tastyworks. Love where you trade. Are you ready? Make your family proud. Let's go! Disney's Encanto has critics raving. Salud. It's a mystery full of hidden secrets yes. that keep surprising you. The magic is strong. Disney's Encanto is enchanting. From the studio that brought you Frozen Whoa. comes a movie experience you can only see in theaters. What's your gift? I say my real gift was acting. <laughs> Disney's Encanto, rated PG, only in theaters. Tickets available now. What I believe in can't be contained. Cut! I believe in myself, my passions, my voice. 
I believe with the right tools, we can be everything we want to be. And we can turn what we love into what we do. Be all of who you are. Introducing new targeted benefits from Centra, designed to help you remember why you came downstairs. Be the best tree you can be and handle client calls and school calls at the same time. Whatever life brings, now there's a centrum for that. Welcome back, Virginia, 55-38. Jaden Garner has been a star in this game. He showed a nice little mid-range jump shot. Got this team off to a fast break, doing it defensively, and also at his size can bring the ball out of the backcourt. It's been a beast on the offensive last four rebounds. 11 points, 11 rebounds for him, Bob. And how about the combination of Gardner and Shedrick? 20 points and 19 rebounds mm, between them. Little. If that stays at that level all season, yeah. they've got something. Four and five. That's, that is awfully nice. Now Gardner lines up and knocks down the free throw. Remember now that this young man, Jaden Gardner, was first team All American conference last season at ECU. He knows what he's doing inside. He'll be a big help to Virginia. 57-38. Coppin State. Spurlock to Hood. And the rebound secured by Caden Shedrick. What do you think for, uh, for Gardner? Can you go Barkley in him? It's six yeah. two, 250 maybe offensive rebounding clear some size out yep Gardner he could use that body knows how to create space yep good driving and that's rejected by Shedrick. Well, he's, he's made some spectacular blocks yes, coming has. from the weak side. Team leader with eight coming into this game. Six and a half to go. Cavs trying to nail it down here. They go back to Gardner with an acrobatic try. More free throws to come. Here's that block. See, and that's a, you know, you get your body on the driver, and that's when a shot blocker can come in from the weak side, get up and elevate and get the ball. All right, two shots, first one. First With Gardner going to the line, we must have a story. Days with Sir Charles. Uh, the best. I mean, he's, he has just been, he's been the best friend uh, over the last year plus for me, and... Uh, Great teammate. Um, and that, that team was really, really close and very special in my heart, uh, that Philadelphia team. And then I, uh, was he as shy and reserved as a, as a player as he is today? Uh, you know, de yeah, definitely a wallflower. You know, you, you really had to get him to open up out in public. <laughs> Back in the ball game after sitting with foul trouble, Titus missing. Second chance now for Coppin. Titus with the head fake, throws the hook, and an air ball. Foul coming on Coppin State. In the history of professional basketball, the all time leading scorer. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm -hmm. What was he known for? Hook. Skyhook. Skyhook, yeah. If the guy who is like the all-time leading scorer, why wouldn't you want to copy that shot? Yep. It I, was unblockable, unstoppable. Yeah, Nobody I, shoots a hook shot anymore. Well, I, I had that, that's how I made a living in the in the league is you know because I couldn't elevate over anybody, but a little two-foot jump uh, a jump hook, which I got from Dave Cowens watching him play growing up. He was an undersized center, able to get that shot up. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the, the bigs now, I mean, if, if I came up now, I might be working on my three-point shot <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> be a stretch five. Yes, 
Shedrick knocks it down. 59-38. Six minutes to go. Francisco Caparo coming in. Redshirt junior from Argentina. Spurlock lets it fly and hits the three. Freshman from Ashburn, Virginia. Yeah, it's just, you know, you take that 18-4 to run out of this game, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a ball game. The Coppins State definitely settled down after that. Poked away, but picked up now. Hold everything. It's going to be offense. An offensive foul. On 22, Francisco Caparo. Caparo's second foul. Malachi Poindexter. Malachi Poindexter in for Virginia. For sophomore coming in for Stadman. And the whistle goes against Cafaro. Francisco Cafaro. Tony Bennett not real pleased to see Coppa going back to the foul line. Cafaro with that third person. Spurlock in and out. Yeah, but that's, I mean, just, you know, for Coppin State, this, you know, November, December, just basically living out of a suitcase, traveling around trying to find themselves. He certainly will uh, win the frequent flyer award prior to Thanksgiving. Clark gets the whistle. Oh, you're right. I mean, this year, I mean, great. Bob, it's so good to be sitting courtside with fans in the stands. And, you know, last year I did a game here and we were up in the upper deck. There was nobody in the building and just sudden kind of a surreal broadcast. And you think about what these players went through, I mean, the things that you take for granted. You know, being in the locker room together, mm -hmm. eating meals together. Socially distancing the whole time. Everything was... Masks. Yeah, everything. That's what, you know, Jim Behan talked about it was impossible to team build because everybody, you know, there was no camaraderie, there was no togetherness. You, you had to be six feet apart. We have a personal foul on Point Dexter. They've got uh, him and Clark out on the floor at the same time, but uh, Point Dexter at that time just uh, got his hands a little too active out front. That's an easy call for the official. Greg Spurlock, native Virginian from Ashburn at the line. Virginia heads to New Jersey next. There in the Legends Classic, Cavaliers will take on Georgia, and then the, either Northwestern or Providence in their second game. And I, you know, I tell you what, you win a national championship, and it changes everybody's perception of you too. You're in your program. Another three ball by Igor. He's got ten and two threes. And he may have bought himself some more playing time. Yeah, so again, that solidifying, if he can, that bench scoring. Wow. Cavaliers rebound the long Mike Hood miss. Hesitation. Shot knocked out of there, but the foul was called. On by Hood. A timeout with 3.53 to play. Here is Igor Milicic drilling his second three of the night.
Jeff Mancini here with... Shop our holiday best deals at Target. Get great deals on select Quip toothbrushes, Disney kids gifts, TVs, and more. This week only at Target. Wake up, trader. It's time to bring your portfolio to life at Tastyworks. Don't you want to up your trading game? What about a broker that lets you trade stocks, options, futures, and crypto on one platform? Get everything you want and $500 when you open and fund a new Tastyworks account. Are you ready to trade your way? Tastyworks, you deserve a better broker. You ready? Make your family proud. Let's go! Disney's Encanto has critics raving. Salud. It's a mystery full of hidden secrets mm. yes. that keep surprising you. The magic is strong. Disney's Encanto is enchanting. From the studio that brought you Frozen Whoa. comes a movie experience you can only see in theaters. What's your gift? I say my real gift was acting. <laughs> Disney's Encanto, ready PG, only in theaters. Tickets available now. Your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. I'd like to taste a real Italian coffee, please. She said real Italian coffee. What is the real Italian coffee? This place. Espresso or Americano? You mean black coffee? She wants a real Italian coffee! In a capsule? Cappuccino. On ice. Ah, the real Italian coffee. Yes, Lavazza, espresso, and more. Discover the Italian coffee experience in all its forms. Lavazza, more than Italian. Exactly. This game, now what's the a fact, a key factor in this win? Yeah, but this is a time that he proves to Tony Bennett that he can be part of the rotation. You know, these, these minutes are critical for him. For most college coaches, they look at these November-December games See what they have, and then they take that time off between semesters mm -hmm. to okay, really shot, buckle yeah. down. You don't have the classwork to worry about. Exams are done. It's just you and your team, and you say, okay, we played these first 10 games or what have you. Now we see what we have. Here's how we got to tweak it. And is Milicic a guy I can count on mm -hmm. in ACC play? Yep, exactly. And, uh, you know, but you have to you, have, you prove it in increments, and you have to prove it here first mm -hmm. before you make that no next doubt. step. No doubt. 65 44 with 340 left. Good looking three by Titus. He's had a breakout game tonight. And uh, absent the foul trouble, you know, he's still he's playing with four right now. So showed some nice form from three. Titus has only played 16 minutes. Point Dexter. You know, and he's another guy. Point it really has only played two minutes coming into this game. Not a lot of court time, but uh, you know, is he a guy that can give you maybe it's just a little bit of a rest for Clark at the point? You know, because if you know if he, if he can play those minutes and let Beekman play off the ball, keep him off the basketball. And the other thing too, Bobby, not only just players, but Tony Bennett looking at different combinations. Can I go big for stretches? Can I throw, you know, look for different lineups that you can use in situations? Travel. Yeah, they take a look at those analytics just like every everybody does in the game. Tim, what are my best five-man combinations? What are my best three-man combinations? And take all that forward. Virginia has an ACC game. They've got Pitt here on December the 3rd. off the rim for Caparo. That's uh, they've had injuries and off the court issues 
bit Jeff Capel getting to the key players banged up. Two fifteen left. Titus again, good again. Left corner, right corner. Sure. Four threes for Titus. Shows he's versatile. A lot of guys get locked in. They have a favorite side of the floor they like to shoot from. Clemson is in here on December 22nd. And then Cavs go to Syracuse on uh, New Year's Day. That's what the ACC schedule looks like. And now it will be Milicic going to the foul line. One fifty four remaining. Two for two at the line. Yeah, he played, uh, you know, he played German pro, pro league. So, you know, the I don't think the physicality of, of the ACC or the league is going to affect him that much. The German B league last season. 68 50. 50 to plug. Hood. Offensive rebound. Titus clears it. Hood. Young man certainly likes to shoot the basketball. Hey, well, you know what? I, mean, I think if you're playing for Juan Dixon and, and you don't like to shoot the basketball, you're not going to see much court time. And again, he gets the big cover. Very aggressive, attacking the rim. All right. I mean, if, have you seen anybody who has shied away from a shot no, sir. for Coppin State in this game? Mike Hood erupted for 18 points in the DePaul game back on November the 10th. Cash is into the foul line to make it 68 to 52. 90 seconds remaining. McCorkle. Played much tonight. Inspires on the three. Coppin rebound. Hood. Minute to go. Out of bounds with 21. On the shot clock. and Oz in the crowd. Milicic coming up short on that three. Rojas started the game. Missing the wing three. Cavaliers can run the clock down here. Claim victory and even things up at two and two. And that will Pretty much do it. I think the Cavs are going to. A lot of teacher moments in there for uh, Tony Bennett on the. No doubt. But you know, you come out with a, come out of the win. Maybe find a couple of things and players off the bench in this game. And the final horn sounds with Virginia taking the victory by a final score of 68 to 52. Juan Dixon's Coppin State Eagles fall to one and six. Mention the Cavaliers get to 500 and two and two with the Georgia Bulldogs next on the horizon. Coming up in Newark in the Legends Classic. Cavaliers broke from the gate, led 18 to four halfway through the first half, and a couple of runs for Coppin State, but Cavaliers guys at seven and eight, so. Uh Sprinkled around a little bit, dominated things inside. Nice work on the offensive class. All right, behave yourself and rolling. 